squirrels. They are everywhere. From the outskirts of the forest to the trees in your front yard. There are many types of squirrels around the world, such as the red squirrel, flying squirrel, and even chipmunks. But today, we will be talking about the eastern gray squirrel, who lives east to the Mississippi River of the United States. We will be joining Joseph Olivares, a squirrel expert, as he goes in depth of the details of these squirrels. The eastern gray squirrel has, as the name states, gray fur, but sometimes it can have a brownish color as well as a black variant. Their size ranges from 7 to 9 inches and can weigh from 14 to 21 ounces. Squirrels are usually found in large areas of hardwood or mixed forests as well as in urban and suburban areas. They usually need high amounts of nut trees in order to have high populations. Alright, so we're out here in the wilderness trying to find some wild squirrels and I think we found one. Never mind. It appears we found a pack of lawnmowers instead. Eastern gray squirrels usually have one or two litters a year, with an average of two to three squirrels per litter. The newborns are usually blind and hairless and are cared for by their mothers for about ten weeks before they are left to fend for themselves. Their usual lifespan is eight to nine years, but some squirrels have been recorded to live up to ten years in the wild. Squirrels are known for their diet of seeds, nuts, and berries. But what you may not know is that squirrels can also eat mushrooms as well as insects. If they live in the suburban areas, they might feed off of people's bird feeders. They can also raid people's garden crops looking for food. Alright, in order to get the squirrels, I managed to find these poisonous berries and will try to attract the squirrels using these. Gray squirrels, however, are an invasive species in the United Kingdom, with no natural predators other than the pine marten. Due to being fitter than the red squirrels, which are native to the United Kingdom, they are able to compete better than the red squirrels. The parapox virus is also a factor for the displacement of red squirrels, as they are vulnerable to the virus, while the eastern gray squirrels are unaffected. They are recognized as pests there, and it is illegal to release them into the wild. All right, let's see if the squirrel came over here. There it is. All right, let's see if we can get a closer step over. I think something's wrong with it. Ah, oh, we just missed it. This squirrel documentary was brought to you in part by the Joseph Oliveras Foundation and viewers like you. Thank you.